right, this is a, an updated Electrostaff style for Prop EOS 4. Um, so I have my older version. Um, this now incorporates all the responsive effects. Um, I actually have two versions of this. Um, so the Electrostaff is based off of, uh, in Jedi Fallen Order, uh, there's the Electrostaff weapons. Um, and then also the Magna Guards from uh, Episode 3, Grievous' Personal Bodyguards. Um, so this style is meant to be uh, kind of a play on that. Um, so it's got a cycle up instead of an ignition. Um, and then it's got a few other variations. Now this effect has a lot going on, so some of the effects are a little bit washed out, but that's because the base effect is so uh, is doing so much. Um, so this is the Electrostaff style. So you get that cycle up effect for ignition. And then it's got the power surging. Now it does have the responsive effects, so hopefully they'll show up. Um, there's going to be a few different color variations. This is a purple one, similar to the game. Uh, but it's got uh, the responsive blast. So the blast location is going to be based on angle of your blade instead of just being randomized. So you can move that blast just by angling the blade. Um, this also has responsive clash. So similarly, instead of being randomized, clash is based on the angle of your blade. So if you keep your blade in the same spot, it'll stay there, but it moves as you move that blade. And then the responsive clash is tied to responsive lockup. So the responsive lockup, you'll get the uh, low class lockup, um, but it's going to move based on the angle of the blade. So as you tilt towards yourself, it'll slide down. And then as you move away from yourself, it'll slide up. Now we also have in OS4, there's the new uh, lightning block. So this is responsive lightning block. And it's meant to mainly block in the first lighting attack. And you can actually increase the intensity or decrease the intensity by turning your hilt. And then you can focus that attack by bringing the blade up uh, straight up. There's also a uh, responsive drag. And your drag will actually, the size will change based on turning your hilt. So you can make it larger or smaller. And then lastly, there's another new effect for us for, and that's melt. So that's supposed to mean the cutting through so a surface. So this is the melt effect. And as you turn your hilt, it'll actually change the temperature and the intensity. Um, so um, and this is all available in the, this will be all available in the new OS4 library. Um, so this is the static electrostat. There's actually a second version, which I'll show um, as well.